Hi YouTube. I hope you're fine. It was such a beautiful day here. We had 40 degrees. Oh, it was nice. But then, like yesterday, um, I've seen um, days, well, it was my birthday, so I've seen birthdays like I was born in 58. I've seen uh, um, weather where we had like 58 degrees in Minnesota in the middle of winter. So <laughs> it was, yeah, just beautiful, nice. So, yeah, makes going outside um, pleasant, you know, getting some sunshine in the middle of winter. And there was a little bit of sun, but even with the meltingness of it all, it um, was a little cloudy, but, you know, not bad. Pretty nice. I did decided not to really do anything but kind of talk tonight, say hi to everybody, and, um, oh, I did a lot of stuff today, so things that I needed to get done, and then when I was done, I told Doug I, I'm not done celebrating my birthday yet, so, <laughs> yeah, that just means I was done working for the day. <laughs> Every day's our birthdays. Who cares? I don't even know for sure because they lied to me. So I don't care. They lied to me about everything. I don't give a shit. You know. Told me I'm like um, one nationality when I was like several. And it was all in my paperwork at the orphanage and all that. So it's like, yeah, you jerks. So anyway. <laughs> so I actually had... I didn't let anything bother me. I actually had one of the happiest birthdays in my life. I had um, uh, some people say hi that I didn't think would, and that was a surprise, and others that I thought would that didn't, and it wasn't a surprise. So <laughs> either way, you know. And then that got me thinking about loyalty and what people say and how people treat each other and stuff like that. And I was, uh, like last week, I said, um, I don't care what anybody says to me or about Doug or anybody else. And I don't. I really don't. Because for one thing, when I like or dislike somebody... Nothing somebody else says matters. Now, in the sense where if it were going to be to demean their character, I would definitely, if they didn't deserve that, I would definitely step up and put an end to that shit like right now. You know, that's just the way I am. You know, if I have a friend that's um, worthy of respect and people aren't giving them respect, I'm, I'll mentally stomp you, you know, emotionally stomp you with it. So what anybody says is basically the way they act and present themselves to other people. You know, they say actions speak louder than words. They do. They absolutely do. You better believe it. You know, how a person writes even when they're typing on the other side that's a reflection on you that's why i would leave it if it was crappy i used to take them off thinking well i don't want to argue with these people and i don't want to get upset and i don't want people that i care about to get wrong ideas and then i god went in my heart and said no if you truly have a friend nothing anybody says or does would get in the way of that so it's like yeah so anyway, and then I also heard um, uh, the lawyer I respect say, if you get into trouble, you call me. Well, yes, absolutely I would. But maybe just for counsel, because I'll never sign my name on a piece of paper in a court of law and tell that court that I'm unfit. Because when you sign that waiver to have an attorney represent you, you are signing away your rights and deeming yourself unfit to represent yourself in a court of law. Even when I was 17 and got emancipated from my parents, 
I did that on my own. I spoke to the judge. I walked right up to him. My ex-parents were sitting on the other side of the table and my adopted dad said, don't do this, Barbara. And I'm like, whatever. I call it divorcing a narcissist, <laughs> you know? So the narcissist. So yeah. Um, so when people display even borderline narcissist behavior, um, I don't care. But now I heard anti-Christ. Well, anti-God literally say, screw you, God. And what I have to say to that, unless you have God in your heart, you're literally a mother. -er. And um, physically, the way it is designed is mother rapers and father rapers. And um, basically, Satan and his bitch got you under a spell. If you don't do things the way God says in your life, you are a mother. -er. Literally, physically, is what you are enabling in that blood. Literally. So, you carry that. Yeah. So, I'd rather, um, if I can't have things pure of God the way I want them, I won't be anybody's father raper <laughs> in no way. Or you know what I mean? Mother rapers, whatever. Because that is what we have become so inbred on this planet. No matter what color you are, don't deceive yourself. You're watered down no matter who. Starting from the dark to the lightest and back again several times. So people can pretend they're something, pretend they're something, something, and you ain't nothing, nothing, unless Christ helps you out of here. When God gives the word go, that's it. So, and then we'll talk about building the wall. People will literally find out what the wall means. And there is no such thing as just another brick in the wall. That video of um, Pink Floyd was about killing ch children and tearing down the wall and being just another brick in the wall. But it doesn't work like that with Christ's blood. When that wall builds, it's impenetrable and Christ is sitting on top. Like a big scary thing. So, yeah. And that's precisely what's going to happen. And I'll, I'll say it again. And, you know, people can pretend, you know, that everything's going to be all hunky-dory. And it will be long, 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 long time from now. But there are certain people that are not going to be in the presence of people that would never hurt anybody for any reason. Period. It just will not be. I was assured of that. Also, there are ones in these end times that literally were meant to be destroyed. Because God knew that this part of the filth did not want to stop, would not stop killing. God can't have his energy being drained on a murder, 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 antichrist, anti-God, you know, over and over again and think it's acceptable on a daily basis. It gets kind of sickening for all of us that are God-loving. So it really does. The way people are in this world, the more you ignore it, the more you become of that. The more you say that, I see that, I know that. And God told me this. So everybody will be okay. Long way down the road. Everybody. But each person has their own level of walking up that ladder. 
and literally the latter is not going to be available to some at all for a very long time for their choices in their life they choose to hurt others they're not going the same place you or i are going you know so you got to understand that get that that is hell that's the separation from god that is spoke about in the bible those are the ones who will be destroyed they choose chose that themselves They chose to rape their own sons. They chose to rape their own daughters. They chose to sacrifice their babies and their youngs or your young or my young and involve everybody in this world in their dirty deeds out of greed, whichever they are, whether they're a liar, a thief, a cannibal, um, greedy slothy slutty whatever whatever the person's biggest downfall is and if they didn't get rid of that they're not moving on as quickly as i'm gonna because i do stuff right so yeah and now i'm just saying it like it is if you want to debate that i don't care i don't care what you say yeah i smoke cigarettes I sure do. All natural. Made by the Native Americans. So. Which some of them have red hair too. You know, it's like, or blonde. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, whatever. You know, my family in particular is a really good example of missionaries gone awry uh daniel slauson my great grandfather um had my grandfather who was native american and um other family members so i ended up with two different types in me along with every european polynesian um traced to asian um Everything, every single thing can be traced back to one another. So it's really crazy, but it's true. Um, and that was not by mistake. Satan knows everybody, everybody. We're all, if you choose to be, you're his baby in the flesh. Ugh. You know? But I don't choose to be never have god had a hard time controlling me let alone some piece of crap and god's the good guy you know it's like well i'll behave <laughs> you know? i don't have a problem with that but i am loyal if you deserve my respect and you got it i don't take that away I don't take things like friendships lightly, you know, just so you know. But anyway. Yeah, I'm going to look online. I know some of my old songs I played a few last night when I first got my guitar and, um, then played it another time and then I'm thinking well and then I got an old book with some other songs and I'm thinking nah like last time I played about 10 years ago I got online and um, learned semi sonics closing time which I, I love that song but I'm thinking I might do Radiohead creep or um, what is it not um oh oh who sings like a stone audio slave so maybe one of them <laughs> so yeah a couple of my favorites i do man in a box but that would really be hard to do without the drum at least if i had a bass guitar but oh i got a solid body 
body bass and an electric guitar in my other room, but um, I'm thinking about taking all my guitars and making like a display. But we'll see. I don't like them out in the, um, unless I'm going to pick them up every day, I don't like them out in the dust and, you know. Hmm. But I'm, I'm get, I'll get it, play it a little something for you, probably tomorrow. And it's going to be fumbly because, like, it's been a long time. And before that, it was a long time because I had my guitar destroyed by somebody. I had one burn in a house fire. I had one taken. I had one um, destroyed. Um... I had to leave one behind, and now I got one almost like I used to have. So it's like, yeah, I'm pretty well. I have, well, I have something more. <laughs> but yeah, with all like breaking my arm all up, getting smashed, um, having chronic stuff and operations and everything. Oh my God. And all my allergies and everything, it's like, uh, you know, I didn't really feel like playing when I felt like dying, you know, it's like, and I was bald. I wasn't literally like follically challenged or anything. It's just because of all my allergies that I wasn't aware of or, you know, um, and my hair fell out. I literally got infections inside of me because of, um, all the stuff I was allergic to, like especially petroleum products, but like um, all metals except for sterling silver. Or not, wait, yeah, sterling silver. That's, um, or platinum. Those are the only two things I can wear for jewelry. And like if this was a button, I would probably have to wear a shirt, I mean a metal button, you know, stuff like that. I have to be careful. And black plastics like my phone and um, all different kinds of stuff, yeah. Perfume soaps, all kinds of crazy food. Food allergies are the ones that bother me the most because um, a lot of the stuff I'm allergic to is in everything just about, so. It really limits me, you know. People are like vegetables, vegetables, and fruits I'm allergic to, pears I'm allergic to, um, peas, all legumes, all beans. I'm allergic to brown rice and um, flaxseed and all nuts. And um, I could go on and on asparagus that really and spinach those two really bother me still kind of do there's like last year I had asparagus once because I grew it you know it's like oh yeah it took me a long time to get my asparagus really big too I babied them in the house for two years they're in Martha Washington's and they get literally that big around if not bigger like about all the size of a quarter so I'll show you this here I, I tried to get a picture of them last year but I didn't get in close enough so but yeah anyway but they'll be like um hmm, I think eight years old this year so they're really established and I can split them up and put them in different places. So. Yeah. Have a lots of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had my favorite last night. I had uh, chicken um, uh, that Doug brought home. And I just have um, buttered bread with it. And I had some hot cottage cheese, so I still have leftover chicken tonight. I'll see. Maybe make a sandwich. I'm not sure.
Oh, I got squash to eat up too. Yeah, chicken and squash. <laughs> My cat goes, yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Oh, and then I had ice cream last night. So that was kind of, it was good, but not good. You know, not supposed to have chocolate or nuts. So we have both. Rocky Road. <laughs> it's like, I'm in the middle of watching Og. Um, he's got a, a, oh, a video, Sing and Dance, and I'm I'm halfway into it, but I really get his point. I, I hear him thinking, but uh, I really get his point. I always told my kids, you got to smile once a day or, you know, laugh or get up and just greet the day, you know, with a smile no matter what once a day. I never let anything get me so down that I'm not going to be happy inside. Nothing. Not ever. Not after what Satan put me through. It's like mm, that. Oh, oh, and that was what I was going to say to the Antichrist that said, screw God. That's all you get on this planet is screwed. There's no such thing as a real relationship under God in, on this planet. There's not the cleanliness of that first creation of man and woman. There's no perfection next to that on this planet. So all you're getting is screwed. That's true. You're settling for less than what you really want if you want to admit it to yourself or not. I don't give a shit. It's up to you. I don't care. I'm just telling you the truth. You know. So, But I heard somebody say, basically, screw you, God. And my response to that is, <coughs> yeah, that's all you're getting. Yeah. Anti-God. So anyway. Must be Magog. Yeah, that's the one. Little May, baby. Oh, I shouldn't say. Well, yeah, my uh, stepdaughter is a May baby. She's uh, May 26. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, April. 26 because <laughs> Doug's the 20s and she's the 26 and then my one granddaughter's mom is the 27 so yeah anyway yeah. well life's kind of rough right now for a lot of people but anyway back to what Og was saying about singing and dancing you got to sing and dance through life and well I'll just call it a gooey dance dancing through this gooey world because I love to dance too <laughs> and sing so yeah and um it's something that people can't can't take from you that's from God so yeah sing and dance people <laughs> I recommend it look in the mirror and laugh at yourself once a day <laughs> can't laugh at yourself laugh at me that's all cool too <laughs> can I help <laughs> yeah. I hope so So, like I say, everybody's going to be okay eventually, but some of them, it's just going to take a really long time because they did it to themselves for a very long time. They did it to us for a really long time. And as long as it took for them to screw things up, it's the much longer it's going to take for them to unscrew it. So. Oh, I read something. Yeah. That applies to that. Innovator. 
is someone hired to straighten out the mess that the last person left. Wow, <laughs> that's going in deep and inventing something for yourself, basically, to fix. Well, in this world, what, what Satan would want us to believe is the unfixable. And God told me that everything is going to be exactly as we want it and okay. So that's my message. Like, hey. You're not going to miss them shitty ones, damn it. You'll see them again. Get the hell over it. You know, it's like literally like putting them in hospice. Or not hospice. Oh, excuse me, that's when the end of life. No, no. Putting them in triage. So if they had their way, we'd be in hospice. And in a matter of speaking, we are. We're sort of like ghosts. We were before, whether you remember it or not, and you will be again. It's just what you do here and now, how closer you get to the real happiness that God knows is inside everybody. It just depends on how soon you're willing to accept God, basically, in his ways. It's not like do or die doesn't matter but it's just like if I have a rabid dog or not rabid if I have a, a hmm, let me think hmm. now yeah I've been through this if I have a wild horse I'm not going to bring it around my child um oh, let me see yeah yeah that's exactly it. It's like keeping the wild horses over there until I have time to work with that horse and gentle it enough to be around my child. And that's exactly what's going on here. So the more gentle nature that you literally have and the more compassion and empathy and true nature of kindness not the fake fake stuff but the true stuff um sometimes being brutally honest sometimes telling people not what they want to hear but what is in your heart from god what you know is right the brutal honest truth is the most loving thing you can do in the world um sugarcoating something and babying somebody, you're prolonging the inevitable for both of you, not just one, you know. So for me to like baby or humor a child and say, oh no, everything's going to be okay, when that, when you have to actually say, you're going to have to work at making this okay. You know, this is how we do this. It takes steps. You take action. You, you don't just say the words because you memorize them. You feel those words. You ask God to feel for that. When you do, then you'll know. Even if you have to be like the tough love stuff, you know. Well, I know I'm kind of all over the place with my thoughts tonight, but, um, uh, shit. I wonder if I feel any older than I did the day before yesterday. <laughs> I always wonder that on my birthdays. <laughs> I wonder how, how how God feels, how old God feels. That's so funny if you think about it. I hope it just cracked you up. That humors me. Yeah. How far is forever? 
and before and only one to the future and many forevers. <laughs> Infin infinite. <laughs> or not, you know. Um, Satan has a way, and this is his way of showing us that um, on his plane of existence, death is possible. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it's temporary, but it's possible, you know. Uh, but it's not supposed to be like that, you know. This is the interference that Og was ta talking about, too. Um, uh, yeah, Og tell us he saw. Got some wonderful insights because um, we he's been where I've been, or I've been where he's been. <laughs> you know, he I know where he's coming from, in other words. Which leads me into, um, I'm going to be finishing my uh, creation story, my take on it. It's just a story. <laughs> but, and I'm going to write a song for YouTube. <laughs> so. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it's coming up. I'm not dead yet, <laughs> you know. Those are for the ones that give me crap about my age. I am so proud about my age. I bet I could beat you up my driveway running, arm wrestling, any kind of sports. I whoop your ass. Let's go. Come on. I mean it. Seriously so. Let's spar. Okay? Age isn't just a number. Yeah. I get tired, but when I got my energy going on, it's going on, <laughs> you know. Um, I never have felt like your average um, I, I'm beyond competitive. Um, but I will say that I'm not the best guitar player in the world. I just do it for fun, so any insults that it's been a very long time too and or boo-boos that i make i'll let you see it all step by step you know just not tonight um literally i have a sliver in my finger and that is my i don't have my pick right now see that's part of it too um well i don't need it but yeah, it'll take me a day to get to it. I dropped it in a box and I have to move a bunch of stuff to get it. And so only when I have. So, yeah. And I can order some, which I will. I got to order some extra strings too, just in case. Have them on hand. But yeah. I think I got enough spares of something happening. But, yeah, never know. So all in all, I had a wonderful birthday, <laughs> you know. I got to go clean up my Facebook. Um, I do that. It's like spring cleaning. You know, it's like people that are rude. I just go and I got enough, it doesn't matter. I have ones that have been there for years, but some of them don't matter either. But there's a few that it's like, um, they're priceless. <laughs> yeah. Especially your Romanian friend is hilarious to the point and totally anti-bad cabal. Um, they're incredible <laughs> really really incredible 
coming from somebody that literally wasn't born in this country and came here to seek a better life out of um, almost um, well, death and annihilation. There was no choice in this person's case. And they got here to find out that our country isn't all that it's cracked up to be because things are the same everywhere. Well, what a rude awakening, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, I woke to that when I was born. I was born, and then I was given to the bad guys. Yeah, and they tried to do bad things to me every second of my life. But that's why I can sing and dance in my life. <laughs> because... Um, I won't let go of God. Yeah. And they do. And I see they don't sing and dance. And if they do, it isn't with the same happy little skip or the prettiest note. Um, they just don't have it. They can fake it. Yeah. But they don't have it. Not to say they don't have something, because they do, you know, and Satan will give gifts, but it's not theirs. When God makes you, and you are of that, that's truly your gift. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, well, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, it's been a while since I was on, and I asked God for words what to say, and like usual, he said, just go do it. <laughs> so I did. So peace and love, everybody. Thank you for joining me and um, from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Later. <laughs>